Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Numbi and Clark like shake effect, shake preset uh, in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm also gonna be showing you how to turn the effect into a preset so that you can access it every time you want to, you know, use it, and you don't have to like recreate it every time. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So first things first, you want your music and your clip or clips. I'm only going to be using one clip today because I don't want the, mon uh, the video to be way too long. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So first, let me cut my music because I don't want uh, all the music to be too long. And we're going to go ahead and find the first beat drop, which is right here. Or whichever beat drop you want to sync your clip to. And we're going to go ahead and mark it by pressing M on the keyboard. And then I'm going to also just cut off the music after the beat drop really quickly because I don't really need the rest of the music. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our clip. And I'm going to basically take this clip and trim it up really quickly. It's a 45 second clip and why I don't trim uh, my clips with the windows trim thing because it turns my clips into uh, 30 FPS which isn't good so yeah let me just go ahead and trim I just go ahead and trim my clips inside of DaVinci Resolve So that seems like a pretty good clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we also have a marker here to sync to. We're gonna, and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna find the first like, first frame that the last like damage number shows up on, which is this frame on 82. And we're gonna do it there is just go ahead and click on the clip and press M again. And we're, we're just gonna go ahead and sync it really quickly. Uh, make sure you have the the snapping thing on the magnet tool on so that it's a lot easier for you to sync the clips and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up the music even more what we're gonna do to this clip we're gonna go ahead and go to V time curve I already showed this in my last tutorial so you guys probably know what to do here so we're gonna make sure you're on this frame and we're gonna go left around five to ten frames uh, um, I do 5 because I'm on 24 FPS, but if you're on 60 FPS, then do 10 frames. So around 5 frames here, and then we're going to go back to the middle and add another keyframe. Drag this up to around 200 speed. And then what we're going to do is make sure you're on the sinking frame again, and then go right 10 frames. Or 20 frames if you're on 60 FPS. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go ahead and add a keyframe here and drag it down all the way to 50% speed. You can go lower if your clips are like. You can go lower if you want, but I find 50% speed is basically the best for me. And yeah, that's basically the clip now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we're on the, the frame of the beat drop. We're going to go ahead into fusion. And then we're going to go ahead and add the camera shake, the Numbian shake, the Numbian clerk shake, and the blur. So first, let's add the blur because it's more simple. Just search up blur. There's so many blurs, especially if you have plugins. I just, just use a regular blur. Drag it in here, and the blur size, I change it to around like 15, I guess. And then go back, go left three frames, one, two, three. And then go to the middle frame again, keyframe it. Make sure you keyframe the, uh, the first part. And what I wanna do is make sure you're on the frame of like the beat drop. We're gonna go ahead and keyframe it once, go left three frames, keyframe it again, and go right around like 15 to 20 frames, I don't know. Just keep on spamming, doesn't really matter how much. And make sure when you're on the last keyframe, just go ahead and 
drop the blend all the way to zero. Same thing with the first one, just go ahead and click left twice and then go to the first few key keyframe and turn it down to zero. All right, so that's the blur. It's really simple. This is how it looks. Um, it doesn't look too good right now, but we're gonna go ahead and add the camera shake as well. So, um, I personally, in my last montage, I use S underscore shake in my own preset for that, but you can't do that in, some people might not have the Sapphire plugins. I'm going to be showing you how to make the Numbia and Clark shake with the regular camera shake that comes with DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's the camera shake. It's pretty simple camera shake with the like this thing this logo add it in what we're gonna want to do is change the x deviation to zero y deviation to zero change the randomness deviation to around five and change the randomness you can keep it i don't really know what this does well it just shakes around how much i change it to like 0.7 i guess overall speed keep it on one and Overall strength, I keep it on 1, and the speed, I change it to around 0 0.25, 0 0.28, I think this looks good. And then what we're going to want to do is go ahead and change the edges to mirror. And again, make sure you're on the frame of the beat drop, which I'm pretty sure I am right now. What we're going to want to do is keyframe the randomness deviation. So make sure you're on the frame of the beat drop, keyframe it once, go left 3 frames, frame it again change this all the way down to zero and then go right around like 20 to 30 frames i don't really know just i just hold it down for a bit it doesn't really matter when the shake ends and i go ahead and change it to zero again um yeah and that's basically it for the camera shake and yeah this is how it's gonna look so this is how it's gonna look it looks pretty basic and it looks like how a lot of the highlight editors edit their videos so now i'm going to be showing you how to turn this into a preset so what you want to do is go ahead and go to fusion and select the two of these nodes is what they're called select these by just you know holding down left click and dragging over the two nodes right click on it go to setting and then save all as it's gonna come up here and then we can just write what setting it want wanted to be um, I'm gonna just call it numby and Clark shake uh, no plugin and I'm gonna press save it's gonna uh, and we're just gonna press save. I don't know where this saves actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on desktop. Just select desktop and save it there. And boom. I think it should be, yep. It's the save files right here. I don't think you can open this, but if you just drag and drop it into Fusion by dragging, alt tabbing into Fusion, and then boom. Those are the two nodes. You just do that for every clip. I think that's basically how it works. And yeah, hope you hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe. Only 10% of the people watching are subscribed, so I really recommend subscribing if this helped you out. Because I have a lot more tutorials planned. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Numbia and Clark like shake effect, shake preset, uh, in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to turn the effect into a preset so that you can access it every time you want to, you know, use it, and you don't have to like recreate it every time. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So first things first, you want your music and your clip or clips. I'm only gonna be using one clip today because I don't want them on. Uh, video to be way too long so yeah let's get straight into it